So, and uh, one difference uh, I can explain uh, between C and C++ language in the, with respect to dynamic memory allocation. So, in the last uh, video session, I have discussed uh, four dynamic uh, allocation functions like uh, malloc, calloc, realloc, free functions. But in C language, C++, just we are going to have only two dynamic memory allocation operators. One is new operator and delete operator. So, new operator, this is for assigning memory allocation dynamically. Okay. So, it is not uh, that typecasting is required. So, typecasting is not required in a new operator. And in case of C uh, dynamic allocation uh, implementation, we have used one function called malloc function. So, in the malloc function, first of all, so the typecasting is needed. So, after typecasting only, we can allocate the space, delegate the space. But in case of a new operator, so at the time of dynamic allocation, what happens here? No typecasting is required. Internal typecasting is done. Okay. Explicit typecasting is not required in case of new, new operator. And uh, when coming to delete operator, so this is uh, 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 someone, this is same as free, uh, free. Okay. Free operator for deallocation of space in the same way, delete operator for use, uh, deallocating the space, which is allocated by new operator. Okay. Next to input and output operators operations in C++ input and output operations in C++ so in uh, C language we have performed input and output operations by using scanif and printf statements scanif and printf functions we have performed what input and output operations the uh, syntax of scanif command is like this scanif format specifier format specifier and here list of variables here same format you can apply here format specifier specifier format specifier format specifier means it it indicates data type and list of variables list of variables like this we have performed input and output operations so these are related to c language but in case of C++, we can use these two functions. Means especially in C++, we are going to have C in and C out. C in, C out. C in for input. C in for input. C in double greater than, sorry, uh, double greater than variable name. No format specifier is required here. Internally type conversion is done. Okay. So, depending upon your uh, value given by the uh, keyboard, automatic uh, conversion is occurred. Okay. C in variable. Okay. You don't need to specify any format specifier like this. Format specifiers are not required. Just you have to specify a single variable or multiple variables where you want to store the data given by the keyboard. And uh, next uh, for output operations, we have to use C out. C out. So, this indicates what uh, output operation. So, in C in indicates what? This is keyboard. This is keyboard. So, this is also called as what? Extraction operator. Extraction. Extraction operator. That means the value given by you, the value given from the keyboard will be stored into this variable. C in variable. Okay. And if you want to print the output on the monitor, so you have to specify C out. This is extraction. This is insertion operator. That means the data given from the keyboard, that uh, okay, that uh, the data given uh, given from the keyboard will be inserted into a, inserted into a variable. Okay, that is why it is called as insertion, extraction operator. This one, C in C in is called as extraction operator, extraction. So this is called as what insertion means from memory we are going to put the data into variables. Okay, so that is why. Insertion operator, extraction operator, and insertion operator. Scene, scene keyword will be followed by two what 
greater than symbols c out is followed by two less than symbols okay so c in this is for input c out this is for output for example i want to read a student's id and name how you can read c in id c in name with a single statement also we can combine no problem so if you want to print same data again use c out say id c out less than sorry uh, less than name okay so this is for simple output and uh, this is for input okay internally what happens here conversion is done format specifier is supplied okay by the c in operator c in id means the value given from the keyboard that is id will be stored into id variable and name this uh, this is stored into name variable okay so actually from keyboard data is going to be moved into memory memory okay so keyboard indicates what less than symbol here id is available again from memory i am going to display data onto monitor okay so this is output device output means this is id you are displaying here id you are sending to memory okay so this is c in and this is c out the combination of c in and c out when you say c in what happens here from keyboard data will be moving into memory for a memory again if you want to display data onto monitor use c out okay id will be coming from memory to output device and in the first case so id will be sending from keyboard to memory so for this use c in and for this use c out operators like this we can perform input and output operations in c++ so the c in c out so these two methods these two operators are defined in a header file called iostream.h iostream.h so every time we have to include what hash include iostream.h so this is a mandatory thing for using c in and c out operators and uh, in case of c language which uh, header file we have used here uh, there we have used what stdio.h stdio.h is going to define print if and scan if functions in the similar fashion iostream.h is going to define c in and c out operators c in and c out methods or functions operators and uh, one more uh, thing you have to observe in the application when you are using clr scr so directly you can't use but uh, in the c language you can use if you want to use this clr scr we have to include one more library file that is called include conio.h okay so for this every application must uh, use iostream.h and conio.h header files so these two are mandatory okay so if you are using any additional functionality if you are using only c in c out just you need to include only iostream.h that is enough for c in and c out operators